Hey guys, it's Adam here. Uh, before I start this video, I just want to thank everyone who's uh, been subscribing. Um, you, yeah, made me really happy. Uh, but anyway, um, let's uh, have a chat about digital SLRs versus digital range finders, or any range of finder for that matter, and uh, the differences in focusing between the two. Okay, so a lot of us have had uh, experience with digital still cameras and uh, digital SLRs. And we know that when we pull a digital SLR into focus uh, using the autofocus system, we generally get the two little beeps giving us uh, confirmation that uh, the picture's in focus. Um, depending on which manufacturer uh, you use, um, you'll get a little red light or a little black highlight around uh, where the camera is focusing. And you know what's uh, in and out of focus. You can also use uh, your depth of field uh, preview button on uh, the side of uh, most lenses or uh, the body and you can see uh, what your depth is looking like as in what is in and what is out of focus in your shot. That's great because the whole concept of a digital SLR obviously is what you see through the viewfinder is what you're going to get when you uh, take uh, the picture as far as your composition and your focus is concerned. Yeah, Easy. Um, that system works really well, particularly when you need to uh, get shots in a hurry. Um, if you don't want to wait around, if uh, you're traveling uh, and you've only got a limited amount of time and you know that you have to uh, get the shot, it's a good way to go. Um, personally, I've never uh, yet used an electronic uh, autofocus uh, system that is as good as um, it can be done uh, manually by uh, looking at it. So, for the most part actually, um, even on a uh, DSLR, I tend to uh, focus uh, manual and uh, I don't let the camera um, make too many um, uh, decisions for me. Cool. Okay, let's take the D810 off because it is really heavy and breaking my neck right now. Now let's talk about how we uh, focus on a rangefinder. Now on a uh, Leica M rangefinder, for example, this one uh, here is uh, the Leica MP Safari, Safari Edition Type 240. Um, I've got a 35mm f2 Simicron uh, lens on there. Uh, the Leica M, there's no autofocus whatsoever. Uh, it's all up uh, to you as the photographer. That's great. Um, so, how does it work? Well, first of all, when you look through the viewfinder of a DSLR, for example, um, the whole picture is there in front of you. What is not going to be in your picture is blacked out. Obviously, it's outside of the viewfinder, you can't see it. So, uh, if you want to uh, recompose, you have to move your DSLR around. With a Leica rangefinder, everything that you see through the viewfinder, which is not through the lens, it's up here, is in focus straight away and depending on uh, what lens you've got so say if you've got a 28 millimeter uh, lens you'll see uh, frame lines for the 28 mil if you've got a 35 mil you'll see frame lines for the 35 50 you'll see frame lines for the 50 75 you'll see frame lines uh, for the 75 the advantage that gives you as a photographer is that you can see what is in and out of your frame all through the same viewfinder and you can see what is going to be moving in or out of your frame so you can then actually press uh, your shutter release at exactly the right moment. It's a real advantage. The other thing that you'll notice in the middle of uh, the viewfinder of every Leica M is the famous focusing patch. Now that's uh, created um, for a mechanical mechanism which uh, superimposes the image that you see through the viewfinder with another uh, image uh, that's uh, taken through the rangefinder window over here. What happens is as you look through the viewfinder and you move this little focusing tab under the lens, a ghost image within the rangefinder patch in the middle of your viewfinder will move over your picture. When your rangefinder patch and your picture fall into alignment, you know that that section of your picture is going to be in focus. You can then, if you need to, gently tilt the camera around and look at other areas of your picture to see what is going to be in and out of focus. Okay, um, now that's an assisted uh, manual system. Um, I'm firmly of uh, the belief that when you actually uh, get used to that, 
um, particularly uh, because that's the case it's been for me, I can focus a range finder much faster than I can focus a uh, DSLR. Um, and in many cases, because even, even, even your high-end DSLRs, like your 1D or um, your D4s, um, your A7s, they still hunt around for focus as far as I'm concerned. And when I'm uh, focusing manually, I don't hunt around. That's what uh, makes uh, manual focus much faster for me on any camera. Okay. But uh, the other things that we have to uh, think about when we're uh, focusing a rangefinder is uh, the depth of field scale that's actually on the lens. So at the moment, I've got uh, my 35 Summicron uh, set at f2. Okay, so I'm going to focus now on the camera that's filming me. Great. So that's just uh, fallen into uh, focus now. And I can look uh, down at the scale and I can see that it is about 1.3 meters away from me because that's where the, the scale is, uh, that's where I stop the scale when um, focusing patch uh, aligned with uh, my main image so I know that I'm in focus. But I know that looking through uh, the rangefinder and uh, focusing there, the only items that are exactly that 1.3 meters away from me are going to be in focus because I'm at uh, f2. What happens if I want to have something that's a little closer or a little further away from me in focus as well as uh, the camera? Well, that's easy. All I've uh, got to uh, do is look at uh, the scale and uh, the depth of uh, field uh, scale at uh, the base of uh, the lens. And I can see, okay, so f2, I know uh, that anything that's at 1.3 meters away is going to be in focus. But I want uh, everything that's between one meter and one and a half meters to be in focus in my shot. That's easy. So all I've got to do is find the one and a half meters and the one meter on uh, my focusing uh, ring. Look at uh, what um, F values that they're actually aligning to. So in this case, it's F5.6. And then I set the lens to F5.6 accordingly. Then I know that uh, everything between one and one and a half meters is going to be in focus.